I forgot to change the title. I'm not going to point out who forgot to change the title. I'm just going to say that somebody forgot to change the title. There are no bad guys in this scenario. Just saying. It is someone's responsibility. Okay. Right. Remember they couldn't open that box. Just making sure there's nothing here. Ah, we've already looted all this. Okay. So I remember there's some bandits down here. There's a counter right over here. I wanna do and then we will jaunt on home to the post. Tell everyone we are victorious. And uh, see what happens. Yeah! We will have to loot that in a minute. Serves you right. Okay. Go ape. Protect yourself because you tend to die. Okay. You go here. I need you to make the alchemist laugh. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we really need to make sure the alchemist is dead. Like, holy crap. Two potions. Nice. I hope I get a horse. I believe I found something. Quick save. Let us not hesitate. I need you to. This should do it. Well, they have a bar too. Oh. Missed. Go here, heal our hero, please. This was not the plan. Did I do that to the wrong person? No. He's just... I need you to go heal our hero, dude. I shall end this suffering. Hero, I need you to drink to your health. I need you to heal yourself. I need you to bless our big girl. Should probably go after the alchemist, everybody. Oh my god. Do not let this alchemist do this again. It will kill us. Lost. 
son of a bitch. They hit her. Now. Everyone get out of that. 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 Confide in me. Damn. We need an alchemist. The angels near. Share your more. There we go. Big heals. That's how it feels to be hit by those. I don't like it much. Let's open this box. I think we need her to Lindsay to open it. Just not my lucky day. No, it hasn't been. And I'm very disappointed that we gave you so much. And you have a high chance. That's the thing. It's not like you're weak to this. Just all. Shit. Should have saved. All right, you, sir, and yourself. Bless her. Charge this bandit. I'm not doing it wrong. Spell is fly. This one then. You drink the potion before running in there. I need you to drop this, dude. You will hit this guy. Poof. When it works out the first time. That's that feels good. What does it say? Some of the goods are stained with blood. It's not hard to guess the sad fate of their owner. Oh, they stole them. What's your point? like immediate like take off this planet earth hits brutal I'm just alchemist in we got her you yes let's go Lindsay, I need you. Jesus. Almost dead again, my friend. Let's see.
So ridiculous, man. One hit and like dead. It's so dumb. Like I understand about making it hard, but fuck, man. Give me like a chance. Adventures call to them. All according to plan. You right. All right, this should do it. Heal yourself, or get that on yourself. Or calm down. Not dead oh shh! <laughs> Need to fight them back there. This was not part of the plan. Not a chance now. Not a chance now. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so annoying. That guy hits me one or like one of my characters one time, and he's somehow um, survived every will save or whatever save against my spells. We shall overcome. Attack! Strike as one. Your life you ebbs it. low. Still waiting for her to cast that spell on him. Or, no, did he save himself? He did. Okay, so there's one. Oh no, he's he's dead, dead. Fuck. Man, this is this is where like I get a little annoyed with this game. How does like this bandit after we just took down the boss hit harder than the boss? Random Bennu, number nine. Cannot kill for some reason. All according to plan. This should do it. I need him up there. Tear them apart! Can't do that. Go. Little person. <laughs> Repent. Let yourself open. Wow. Okay. Maybe we can save him. I doubt it, but we can try. You're gonna drink that. You're gonna still finish casting that. You're gonna cast that on him. You. I don't even know what have you do. Try to save him, I guess. Try to get a bead on actually this a guy. Risk. I need you here. You here. Ebbs low. Yep. Another will save. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Try to keep her up. Fuck, he's got so much health. Um, please, 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 please. Oh, you will survive. I always survive. Okay. Yeah! 
to do that again. Just stay alive, dude. Just stay alive one more hit. I just need that. Serves you right. And these bandits did not go down easy. Dawnflower, grant me strength. Damn, Sky is a tank. We still have those wolves to go. I don't think the wolves will be too bad on their own. We'll see though. Oops, I shouldn't have grabbed that. Oh well. Okay, hold up. No mistakes. Share your trouble. It's camped. Not been easy. Grotus awaits us. Heals necessary to get this party anywhere near good is insane. Well, I mean, like. If you see how much health she has, and the fact that it goes down so much, just tells you what she's getting hit for. All right, let's go kill some dogs. Sorry, dogs. And do we have any? I want you to drink this. This will hurt. I have like no spells left. Might have been premature. Bring it. Actually, no. I want you Tear here. You Repent. here. What you on this one. Oh, they're doing that stupid thing where they make you fall down. Right, this wolf has dust. This won't kill me. I'm on the wrong person. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Wow, dude, what a rough camp, like, ending to that. I thought, like, it was mostly over, right? Because we took down the boss. We took down some of the harder guys. But, dude, no, this game was like, nah, nah, nah. We've just begun. Seems these bandits wanted to build heavy fortress here. Fortifications here, that's fine. Forget it. Four hours to move the boxes. Okay. You better unlock that fucking thing. I failed. I'm sorry. Give you so much. Give you so much. This is what you give me in return. All right. I think we have plenty of time to make it back to the camp. So I think I'm going to. Yeah, we have 28 days. This we can make it to the river and the camp. I think I'm gonna go to the river first, and then we'll go back up to the camp or the outpost. Uh, I'm gonna do big save here, just in case I'm wrong. No, that's 57 days out, 49 days out. We'll do it here. Or that's in, or that's not what. Ugh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. 
Maybe we can't use that. Alright, guys. You bow before Shellen, right? For how long? Bow? Yeah, right. As short as I am? When I bow, I disappear into the grass. I'll pray <laughs> standing up, thank you. I started praying to Shaylin when I was young. Everyone else in our village worships their rascal, but that's so boring. Okay. We have enough rations for two more rests, too. That's awesome. We don't need it right now, but we have it. All right, let's go to the river. Tell the dude we killed the stag lord. And then we'll head up to the outpost. We have plenty of time to do this. We did a save just in case my intuition about this is wrong. And I'm owning myself here. Should have looked through that list of stuff. Okay. We need to travel to Nettles Crossing, which I think we could probably create a path for. Old Mesa. And all these like new places to check out. A rest would be welcome. Oh, you will get a rest later. Going to the river. Shit. Okay. Going to the river, and you guys stay awake. More strength. I'm hungry. Thanks. When we stop. Stop when I say we stop. I'll do a quick save. If this starts a fight, then, uh. Yeah, I want to make sure that, uh, I can Resting back out. Black Lord is dead. Farms awaits. Farewell, Diaz. Freed an innocent soul from eternal torment. Diaz, your yours is truly noble soul. Trips and lords his head and begins whispering a prayer. Chorus crumbles to the ground. Nice. So you guys, that wasn't so hard. Now we can camp here. Great for sons of bitches. Oh, I'm tired. My feet hurt. Go back to cooking. Go back to hunting. Do a hearty meal because I think we're not going to be fighting too much in the next day, so I don't want to really waste that. Listen, Tristan, why do you always forgive everyone for everything? Punch them once and they respect you right away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't need that kind of respect, Amiri. It brings nothing but suppressed anger. Sooner or later, they'll understand they were wrong. 
and apologize for their carelessness and rash words. Oh god, I'm gonna love having him around when I do really evil things. Well, good thing we have rations for another day. Hunter coming back empty-handed. That's fine. Let's check out that spear. Compared to my dudes. Same thing. Twelve hours. You guys complain, I where to you? Trade avoid. So these are like just goblin encounters that I really don't care about. And I want to make sure that once the timing thing is over, I'll I'll do every single random encounter. I don't even care. I just want to make sure that I'm not under the clock. We will power level or yeah. I don't know if it's power level. We'll just. In due time. I think I've made myself clear. Time's not waiting. The stag lord's gone. We found his fortress, sent the villain to oblivion. Also a pretty good game. Well, it looks at you with respect, bordering on admiration. And good riddance. We now will be able to actually live in the Stolen Lands, rather than just surviving. Well, it size. Without a doubt, more people will flock here now. Surely boost trade, but all the noise that'll bring with them, well, that's none of your concern. But you can't wait to return to Restov and report your great victory. Restov awaits. I plan to set off right away. I do. Just be sure you see Keston before you go. He was eager to discuss something with you. We'll speak another time. Kesson, I failed to capture Tortuccio alive. He attacked me and was killed. Well, this is not the best outcome, but I think it will be good enough for Jamandi. Take this as a reward for your help. I'll send word to Restoff and let them consider how they might return the favor. Once again, I thank you for your help. I'll remain here until my men recover from their wounds. Meanwhile, we'll help guard the trading post and fight off any bandits should they return. Good luck in all your plans and endeavors. Would know more of the House of Garrison in your well, homeland. Well then, ask away. Tell me about the lands you grew up in. House Garess owns a number of valleys and gorges in the Galushkin Mountains. The landscape makes these places easily defensible and they're rich in ores and everything else the depths of the earth have to offer. It is a place of rare beauty. <sighs> when I moved to Restoff, I couldn't get used to it for a long time. There was nothing but sky between the roofs. No mountain peaks anywhere in sight. Tell me of House Garris. It is an old and renowned family, one of the most influential in Brevoy. A long time ago, the Garess House entered a pact with the dwarven clan of Golka. This proved to be of great benefit to both parties, and they've supplied the ore for our forges ever since. Lord Howland even took the son of the Dwarven leader as his ward. Who would have known where this would lead? The same winter that Brevoy lost the Regarvia dynasty, Howland's only natural son, Bren, went missing in the mountains. Thus, Toval Golka, the Lord's Dwarven ward, became heir to House Garess. The lad has it tough, though. Too many believed Howland should have chosen someone of his own blood to be the heir. I would imagine my own father had similar plans for me, but we all know how that went. Finish the conversation some other time? As you wish. I feel like we did finish the conversation, but that's fine.
Okay. We'll have to do this later. Right? <laughs> if we don't feel it. We'll do another All according to hard play. save here. Do it here. Just in case we fail that. So we got 26 days. We could run down, fight that thing again, or like fight another monster, and then come back. That's not Follow a problem. My lead. Actually, you know what? Over here, let's do a bunch of selling. Basically has the stuff they need. I'm keeping that. Keeping that. Didn't realize I had this. That's really good. This one case. Slave, I don't have anyone's using something like that. Short spear, I'm gonna keep. Oh, I'm gonna keep the glaive just to have, have a pair of boots. So, to you, sir. that for some healing. It's rough. It's studded. Ooh, it's even better. Man, how am I not looking at this stuff? Doki. I do not armor check penalty. They lose. I gain an armor class. It's medium though. This would be more your thing. This is what I was looking at. This is the light padded. Nope. Using a chain shirt. This is better. Willin Aegis. Gain an armor check. Another max or more dexterity. Yeah. The only boots we have. That longbow. Okay.
Cool. Upgrades. Hooray. And this dude doesn't wear armor whatsoever. He's sneaky. And once again, we check this. This is, uh, same thing. Still want to keep it though. Cool. In due ah, time. because of uh, the helmet. Any rations? That's what I was going back for. I have zero rations. rations cool it's up 4,000 does he have He's You have you don't have any. I don't want to go broke yet. We'll come back. I'm sure we'll have plenty that of opportunity to come back and get more stuff. Cool. All these upgrades, awesome. But they would have helped me clear the bandit camp. As it should be. Um, just in case I don't come back, let's collect it all. I just want to make sure. When in doubt, save. Okay. I will. It's higher. No. Familiar roll road rolled out before us as our hero turned toward Brevin at his back, the Stonelands, had yet to reveal other serious to the daring adventurer who had decided he would be the one to conquer them. But really, who would be the po or what would be the point of such strange endeavor? Much easier to just return to the reliable shelter, the rest of those walls, set up shop, maybe start a family, and live out the rest of your days like in any other citizen. In peace, warmth, a bit of boredom, and full confidence that tomorrow will be just as orderly and predictable as yesterday. Hey, did you really think I chose a hero like that for my book? Ridiculous. No. Our daring leader, after indulging in a bit of nostalgia for that old rest of flair, turned his back on Fairway, Revov, and followed the call of destiny to the unpredictable, wild, beautiful stolen lands. Where am I supposed to go then? Wait, stop. Oh, tell Jamani Aldari. Oops. Okay. It'd be kind of funny if, like, I was so close to the end and I just messed it up by not I'm reading tired. that. So Jamani's inside. Do you believe? Yeah, Chad Tristan. No. Stairs. Valerie. Manic 
Can is Jamundi not? All according to play. Confused. We did that. Too many. Is he not in the trading post? Then, then I'm confused. Do we have to do a companion quest before we leave? Be kind of stupid. In due time. Follow my lead. It's Chimundi somewhere, and I'm j just do not know. Man, I'm kind of worried. I don't know where I'm going now. Got where Jamundi is. I tire. I realize. Um. say that I have to go there, right? We need to go here from Riri. It's fine. Where do I go for this? Maybe we have to do prove your worth. All right. We got time. I think we have time. It would be nice, don't you think? We have 25 days. So two days to get there, or actually three days to get there, and then three days to get back. More strength fades. Some food would be nice. <laughs> and some booze. When I get to a tavern, I'll lock myself inside and won't come out until all the barrels are out.
Okay, let's do a quick save. That is not far. We've already cleared this area. Like, what are we doing? In due time. We travel all down there for nothing. Maybe we can't travel back on our own, we have to talk to Oleg about it. Yeah. I already selected that. My bad. There we go. A little weird. It's like nice to see. I haven't lost. I want to go turn in. Wishin for people. Not many would have managed to set out to the stolen lands and return with the stag lord's head. But I knew you could handle it. Did you though? I don't really feel like you did. Congratulations are in order. Today, you'll receive the title of Baron before the High Society of Restov, and even Natala Sertova personally. God's bless her. Tomorrow, you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands if you wish, but this time, as a ruler. That's kind of cool. But matters of state can wait. For now, enjoy this feast in your honor. All the city leaders are here. It's a great opportunity to make some useful connections. I didn't want to be a leader, I just wanted to be a mercenary. Speaking of connections, let me introduce you to Kassil Eldori. He's my adopted son and apprentice. He's a trustworthy man. I'd like to send him with you as an envoy. Kassil, a young half-orc with impeccable poise, performs a textbook perfect bow. Okay. Money. Just what kind of game are you playing? I think I have the right to know. Yes, yes, you certainly have that right. But tell me, how well do you know Brevoy's history or the I current don't. political atmosphere? I don't. It won't be an easy explanation. What I need to know about the history of Brevoy. What's now called Brevoy was originally two different countries, Rostland and Isia. Two hundred years ago, they were stuck in constant squabbles. Then. Coral the Conqueror showed up and united the two states into one. Such diplomatic tricks are easy to manage when you have dragons at your disposal. Dude, that sucks that it's buggy on Xbox. Dude, because like, yeah, man, this is such a long game too that... Is it like you can't save or like um, the fight's all buggy? The so-called noble houses of Brevoy, mainly Sortova, Orlovsky, and Lebeda, once ruled over Isia. We, the Aldori, ruled Rostland. The royal house Rogarvia, founded by Coral the Conqueror, forced us into obedience. But 200 years isn't long enough to make peace with such a troubled history. Even 2,000 years wouldn't be enough for us to accept Isian rule. Brevoy is a country held together by a thread, and that thread grows ever weaker. How am I supposed to remember all these houses? This is ridiculous. So many houses. So, no, the houses of Brevoy is Starva. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. So Starva, Orlovsky, and Lebeda are the three houses. Oh, they once ruled over, but the Aldori now rule. So-called noble houses of Brevoy, mainly once ruled over Ithia. We, the Aldori, ruled over ruled Rosland. Man. Okay. What do I need to know about the current political atmosphere? We, the Aldori, and the great noble houses, 
spent 200 years under the rule of invaders, the royal house Rogavia. Okay. We plotted, we schemed, we stabbed each other in the back. But open confrontation was out of the question. But a few years ago, House Rogavia disappeared. No one knows how or why, but one day, their manners were just empty. And the force that held Brevoy together, that kept us from a bloody feud, ceased to be. Interesting. So the saves get corrupted. Uh, I don't know Season of Bloom. This is my first playthrough of the game, so all of it's new to me. Dude, but that sucks. Game freezes and corrupts. That would, that would kind of send me off a little bit. The only bug that I've found with this one so far is if you tap out a screen uh, in windowed mode, you lose control of your keyboard, but you can just alt tap back in and it works fine. It's the only pitch that I've found so far. Brevoy is Corrupted saves sucks the though. Sertova, the former kings of Isia, but their power pales in comparison to that of House Rogarvia when they were here. So now, Sertova and Aldori stand facing each other, staring each other in the eye, waiting for the other to draw their sword. It's an untenable situation. I can no imagine. one wants a civil war that would drown Brevoy in blood. But peace between us is also out of the question. Okay. What do I, role do I play in your plans? Rustland wants to regain its independence, and we will regain it. The power the Issians hold over us is humiliating Got and costly. It. Okay. And the Sertovas won't give us our freedom without a fight. That is, unless there is some external power that can force everyone to sit down and talk. Do you see where this is going? I'm supposed to be that external power. The Stolen Lands are disputed territory. Brevoy can't appropriate them without raising protests from each of the neighboring states. However, if some brave people were to found independent states on that land, it would be another matter entirely. My hope is that you and your future neighbors, Baron Hannes Drelev and Captain Mager Varn, will become our allies. But even your neutrality would introduce a powerful counterbalance to the aggression of the noble houses. Maybe, with your help, the inevitable division of Brevoy can occur without too much pain. Interesting. Nice. Yeah, dude, I love CRPGs, and this is, from what I'm gathering, is going to be a great adventure. Um, I'm going more of a, like, a swordsman's class. I'm trying to do, like, a, like an agile swordsman. We'll see how that works out. So far it's okay, but um, dexterity saves are kind of weak in this game. So like, I'm used to playing D&D, &D, um, and dexterity saves can be pretty OP, but in this one, I'm still getting hit quite a bit. I'm hoping with a couple more levels, um, he'll be a little bit stronger. But yeah, this is, so far it's looking to be a promising CRPG, if not a little difficult. Um, I found some encounters a little challenging so far. Like I've got it on hard mode. So there's like still two modes I could have gone up, but like, you know, you'll go against uh, a random bandit that can one shot all your characters and you're like, oh, that's fun. Okay. Don't the Swordlands have any of the foreign allies capable of playing this role? We hope to get some help from the Maivani Aldori, the descendants of the Sword Lords who have fled from Coral's rage to build a new nation in the south. But the Issians know this well, and are doing everything they can to deny us this help. I won't go into details, but if my intelligence is correct, if a civil war starts in Brevoy, Maivan will be too occupied with its own inner troubles to interfere. Okay. Interesting. Ah, oh, Nightmakers, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Do appreciate it. Yeah, so far I'm enjoying it still. I'll get a little salty after the fight, but uh, usually in a, like four or five more loads, and I got it. Uh, what part? Of, 
does Restov play in the game? Restov is a free city, proud of its independence from everyone, including the Aldori Sword Lords. But when it comes to Rostland's liberation, our goals align. This whole plan is our joint creation with Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius. Okay. If Natalia is already here, why did she let you grant me the title? Actually, she could still intervene and disrupt the proceedings, but she's a Sertova. Their games are always complex and multi-layered. They're always looking for ways to turn defeat into victory. If she's decided to allow you to become a Baron, it means she already has some idea of how she can turn it to her benefit. Let's consider how she could do so. Maybe she understands that Rostland will inevitably separate and she doesn't want a war. In that case, new states in the Stolen Lands give the Issians a reason to sit down and talk without losing face. But that's an optimistic view, and truth be told, it doesn't quite match up with what we've come to expect from the Sertovas. Right. I'm also trying to play a um, chaotic neutral character. So like when she's telling me this and she's just assuming that I'm going to be on her side, I'm going to probably pick whoever gives me the best benefit. The more likely scenario is so if the Sartovas give me more, I'm going to be side. like, okay. If war breaks out and at the least Sartova. one of you stabs us in the back, Rostland will be surrounded by enemies. Mm -hmm. That might be enough to bring about our downfall. But you would fall first, and your newly formed states would be left in ruin. The Issians always like to have someone around to pull their chestnuts out of the fire for them. A piece of friendly advice? Don't do business with House Sertovas, no matter what promises they make you. Any deal with the noble houses is a deal with devils. What happens next? What should I know? We're in the middle of a big game. And today, you move from being merely a piece on the board to being one of the players. If you don't know what's going on, then how are we supposed to win this? You for the explanation. I hope you have a better understanding of what's at stake. Do you already know about my encounter with Tartuccio? Of course. Keston gave me a full report. You dealt with the scoundrel perfectly. It would be naive to think that none of your neighbors will try to stick their hands in your affairs. <laughs> Especially that sly fox, Irovetti. Thank you. I'm going to speak with the guests. Enjoy your evening. When you're ready for the official part, come to me. Okay. Uh, all high society press I've gathered, even up. Okay, this is done. Sort of. Staglor and mute nettle. Done. High society deception is always excellent entertainment. You can drink plenty of expensive wine and stuff yourself with tiny sandwiches on sticks. Or you can skip the time wasted on gluttony and make a few useful connections. Okay, let's see who I need to know here. Uh Can't really talk to her. Make her barn guess. Keston. Can we talk to Keston? No. And some well dressed young man of about 17 years old looks at you with a polite smile. So you're the famous slayer of the Stag Lord's gang, soon to be Baron. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My name is Lander. Just Lander, no last name, no title. Well, let's just say I'm here incognito. Under my circumstances, it's wise to keep one lineage to oneself. Truth be told, that's precisely what I wanted to speak with you about. You see, I'm an heir to one of Bravery's noble's houses. I won't say which, but believe me, a newly appointed baron with no connections would do well to have a friend like me. I travel the country in secret without servants, so I can see if see it for myself. Not from the carriage window, but face to face with the people. My family would never approve, of course, but then I never asked. I need to know Brevoy if I'm going to rule a part of it someday. Okay. If he doesn't tell me what house he's from, then I kind of don't trust this guy. 
Are you Rustav's nobility? Oh. I know Jamani wants to impose her stepson on you as an emissary. Brevoy, refuse. Take me instead. Don't look at my age. While well, they may have trained this old half orc to swing a sword, I've been training the rules since I was a child. I'll be of far greater use to you both now and in the future after I have a firm position in my family. I already said he's from that. So let me get in what you're doing here. Tell me what's more what you want from me. Oh. I'm going to try this again. Are you from Rustop's nobility? Oh no. I'm not from here. I'm just visiting. You could say I wanted to see for myself the heroes who managed to conquer the frontier lands. And Lord Mayor was kind enough to invite me to this wonderful party. I'll consider your proposal. Yes, do so and carefully. Dude, if he's not going to tell me what house he's from, then I'm just going to assume he's these other dudes. And that just makes me weary of him. Or Tuba, or whatever they're called. Guest, guest. Ah, Natalie Sartuba. Chandra Murphy. Okay, let's start talking to Sartuba. So that's why I feel like that young guy is from Sortuva. Like, he's just a plant. That is disgusting. Something with an unfamiliar old lady in low voice. Upon noticing, she breaks into a sugary smell. You are not only tough, but quick. Well, congratulations on your victory. Enjoy it while you can. It was a pleasure meeting you. May I take my leave? Before you leave, please allow me to introduce someone to you. I believe Jamandi has already attempted to impose a guardian on you as an emissary. I'm guessing a lower and steps on the green-skinned castle. Castle. It's up to you, of course, but I would recommend you a different envoy. Please meet Chandra Murphy, an experienced diplomat who's more familiar with Brevois politics than any brawler could be. The woman standing next to Natalie gives you a slight bow. I'd be happy to help you establish diplomatic relations with Brevois. What do you think awaits me? Nothing good, I fear. The Aldori, our dearest friends, didn't deem it necessary to inform you of their plans, I assume. You see, they're preparing to separate from Brevoy. It will not be a peaceful process. What would you propose? Okay. They lack the strength currently, hence using the legal loophole to create some independent allies. Once the civil war breaks out, our land will be the first to endure a strike from Brevoy's forces. Perhaps they'll erect a memorial stone in independent Rasov to honor you. Well, I wouldn't count on it even that, really. What would you propose? In your situation, the most reasonable course of action would be to align yourself with the lawful rulers of Brevoy. The noble houses the Aldori won't dare to rebel, knowing they will immediately become entrapped. You could help Brevoy avoid a civil war while simultaneously enjoying some well-deserved peace in your land. I'll consider your proposal. I don't like being threatened. Don't like being threatened. I'm badass hero guy. Kills a bunch of people with swords. Threatening is me is not uh I think a good call. This guy. A handsome man with a weather beaten face grabs your hand tightly in rough callous palms. Unlike the rest of the guests in their festive clothes, he wears a simple robe. The only luxury you see on him is a holy symbol of Aristotle made of solid gold. Other guests look at him with respect, some boring and awe. Congratulations on your victory, he says in a deep voice. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Evenske Kieg, High Priest of Aristotle and Restov. I don't have any diplomacy. Do many people in Restov venerate Aristotle? They revere many gods in Restov. The prayer to Abadar, patrons of cities in Marasma, gathering of souls. There's, there are also some more rare cults, but there's no denying the stag god has the largest congregation. And no wonder, people here have lived off farming and hunting for centuries. Diplomacy and bringing law into the stolen lands is a difficult endeavor. I would be grateful for any help you could spare. Sweet. This is a truly noble undertaking. I believe in your... I believe our community will be able to provide you with reasonable assistance. We will help you construct a shrine in your capital free of charge. Okay, that's fine. 
Our soul will be our religion. I'm just gonna say, you dress surprisingly simple for such a festive occasion. Corner of the priest's mouth turns up in a faint smile. The nobles dressed in silks and satins stand out from the poor. A priest wears a simple robe to stand out from the nobles. It was an honor to meet you. Goodbye. Air still keep you. Dude, that's fine. If we can control the populace with religion, I'm all about it. I just don't want to be... We just gotta make sure that we keep the priest in check. Or it turns a little too game of throw me. This man's gorgeous clothes hide rippled muscles beneath him. He looks past your ear, obviously bored. Baron Hennis Drelev says offhandedly, emphasizes of the word Baron. You must be the Stag Lord Butcher. I'm sorry, I quite forgot your name. Jerk. But you took out the Stag. Actually, I'm terrible with names too, that's fair. And his gang. And so the Swordland Lord Jamandi is granted you permission to take his place, right? Well, congratulations. The land lies to the west of yours, I suppose. We're neighbor now. Yes, a defeated Stegler. Pray tell, what did you deserve your new or do to deserve your new opinion? Samaric appears on the Baron's face. I don't need to deserve or prove anything. Countless generations of my glorious ancestors have done so. If I had a slightly bigger army, Sword Lord Jamandi would have given all the stolen lands to me. Alas, I don't have so many soldiers at my disposal, so you had she had the urgent uh, had to urgently make barons, huh? The likes of you and Varn. So you have no army and no special merits. You were just given land for being pretty. Under other circumstances, I would have whipped. I'd have you whipped for such words, but let me. Let's not ruin Lady Aldori's celebration, hmm? If you want so badly to measure merit, we can do so another time. Not very polite for a nobleman. Ha, <laughs> lightness must be deserved. Bye. Not even dis deigning to reply, Baron turns around and looks away. Oh, bitch. Mm -mm. Uh uh. Drelev. I'll remember that. I'll remember Drelev. So, how do you like our little gathering? I hope you've made some useful connections. I'd like to speak with more Shall guests. We move on? Of course. And. Hold on. I want to make sure that I've spoken with most people I'm supposed to. Okay. Those seem to be. The main. Main dudes. Although I do want to talk to Zork for a second. 